Thank you, dear Mandy, for the wonderful message and for being with us today, even though you have to attend another function and a wake service. We are truly blessed to have you with us this evening. Thank you. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. Good afternoon and Merry Christmas to all. Christmas is a season of love and peace. As we heard in the Bible verse, God out of his love sent his only son for us. Christmas is a season of giving rather than receiving. The birth of Jesus <laughs> taught us to discover possibilities in the midst of the impossible. This unexpected pandemic makes it possible for all our Sierra Mullingar Catholic churches in North America and Canada to come together to celebrate and share the joy of Christmas, to pray and to learn. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old, meek and the boy. Ding dong, ding dong, that is their song, with cheerful ring all caroling. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound, or oh, hell and hell, telling their tale. Carol a ring while people sing songs, good cheer, Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Ah, oh, how I love Christmas. Christmas is the season of love and joy. My name is Alina. And as we all know, this year, Christmas is a little different. As children, we're concerned about missing school, completing virtual assignments, and missed playtime with our friends. Parents may be worried about the future, about how closures will affect the monthly bills, paychecks, childcare, etc. So this Christmas looks like a time of worries. However, the true meaning of Christmas story will never change. And it's about hope for a better tomorrow. Christmas gives us three messages. Let's try to see the three messages in the light of the scripture. Based on the Gospel of Luke chapter 2, the first message is given by angels, the second one by the shepherds, and the third one by the innkeeper. Let's hear from Elizabeth and Jotzna for the first message given by angels. Luke chapter 2 verse 10 says, The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy. That will be for all the people. It may seem strange to speak of fear and to be afraid at Christmas time. Sadly, fear is part of being human and it is always uninvited, unwanted, and limiting. The fact is that we cannot feel joy and gladness while we are afraid. Shepherds had a fear that robbers might snatch their sheep and wolves might kill their sheep. During this pandemic, there are several reasons for us to fear. There is the fear of the uncertain or the unknown. We are afraid of what we do not know. Children might have a fear of losing their parents, and we may also fear the fear of evil. There might not be shadows of fear. When fear comes, remember the message of angels, fear not. All we need to do is sit in the presence of the Lord and he will remove the fear. The circumstances may not change, but God will empower us to overcome the fear. Only through the faith can we encounter God. God sent the angels to go tell the shepherds that the Savior has been born. The angels said, Glory to God in the highest.
cares for us. He wants us to know that he is there for us and that we should not be fearful. This is why Christmas is my favorite holiday, because God sent the Savior, his son, to watch over us so that we do not have to be fearful. As the angels sang, glory to God in the highest, let us sing, Gloria excelsis Deo. came to remove our fears. Now, let's hear from Pavith, Rickon, and Rhea for the second message the shepherds have for us. A reading from the book of Luke chapter 2 verses 15 through 19. When the angels had left him, left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the world concerning what had been told about this child. And all who heard it was, were amazed and what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds have much to teach us about how we can find Jesus as a savior and God. Even though they were terrified, they listened. How many times has God spoken to us and we either did not hear what he said or didn't listen to what we heard? From the kings of Israel of the Old Testament to the Jewish leadership, there was no listening to God. They missed the birth of Jesus. They did not hear the good news of great joy. They did not listen. So they could not respond to God's divine initiative. This Christmas, let us Take a decision to listen to the voice of God. What did the shepherd do next? They followed up. They left the sheep in the middle of the night and went to see Jesus. If, we're, if we are prompted by God, if there is a message that makes us seek Jesus, we must do nothing less than respond. We pray. We seek. We go to church where Jesus is celebrated, served, and adored. Finally, they spread the word. The word. They simply told other people about the Savior Jesus, a greater Christmas present never given. God's Christmas gift of salvation for all, whose trust in Jesus as Savior. The second greatest gift is to give the greatest gift. That's one of the biggest thing God asks for us as at Christmas, not just to celebrate Jesus' his birth, but to tell others about him. God was saying to the world, both now and then, Christ is for all people. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us hear Shreya and Susan. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy Joy to the world, the Lord has come Let earth receive her King let every heart prepare him room And heaven and nature sing And heaven and nature sing And heaven and heaven nature sing Now let us see the third message the innkeeper has for us. Now! Joseph, Mary, do not leave their still room. 
You know the story of Joseph and Mary going from door to door of inns to find a place, but all the doors were slammed shut. When we rehearsed, our little Johan played his part well as the innkeeper, but when we recorded, he felt sorry for what he had done and opens the door for Joseph and Mary. Johan teaches us that we should not move forward hard-heartedly. We, we should show mercy to those around us. Jesus came to this world to show us mercy. He taught us to be merciful just as our Heavenly Father is merciful. Let us celebrate the birth of baby Jesus and welcome him into our hearts, for unto us he is born. I now invite Yvonne, Tracy, and Vianne to sing, Unto Us a Child is Born. One, two, three, four. For to us a child is born. given to us by the three magi. The Venerable Archbishop Fulton Sheen said, Centuries ago, the star of Bethlehem became the beacon that led truly the wise men to the God, whose love became incarnate and who preached love God and love your neighbor. On this day, millions of stars are out again, shining in the crystal skies of millions of American homes whence the flower of American manhood has gone now, to write a world that forgot the meaning of that first star and the love that lived at the end of its trail. The Magi had the wisdom and openness to see the light of the star and follow it. They set aside the tasks of daily life in order to worship the Messiah. On this Christmas, let us follow these messages in our lives. Number one, Fear not. Number two, listen. Follow and share the joy of Christ. Number three, be merciful to those around us. And lastly, number four, follow the light of Christ in our own life. Let us open our hearts to receive the child Jesus. <laughs> 